Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, when or wherever you are watching. Welcome back to another video and welcome back to my channel. So this video is going to be just a sit and chat one, unfortunately, but it's okay. We're gonna make do with what we have for now. Long story short, I tried other devices, tried using it on this phone, and I tried multiple times on the 13 as well. I pulled out the Android, even turned it on, surprisingly. That thing actually turned on. I was shocked. I didn't think it would. It took a little bit to download, so that tells me I don't know if it has something to do with the phone or again, the Vita app itself, but that phone's a piece of garbage anyway, but that's not the word I wanna use. With all due respect, I want this channel to be clean, so I'm gonna try not to cuss it in my videos, and if I do, I can cut it out. I even pulled out my old iPhone 7, and I tested a different video. It did work, but that video is not even one minute long. So this is my attempt trying to upload a longer video from the Vita app from the iPhone 7. And if it works, I will just use the Vita on my iPhone 7 and not even worry about the InShot app. But there may be times where I will use the InShot app because I really like it. But I really like the Vita app too. All I can do is cross my fingers and hope for the best at this point. So everyone cross your fingers with me. Now this video is like not even five minutes long, but it'll pro I don't know how long it will be by the time I stop recording. Guys, bear with me. My schedule is kind of out of whack. I don't want to go into detail. That's why I'm still in my PJs at one o'clock in the afternoon. Don't, don't come for me. You're probably in your PJs too as you're watching. Still having trouble with the Vita app. Been having trouble since updating to the software. And I don't know if it's the software or the app itself. I'm starting to think it's the app because everything else on the software works just fine. And that's the only thing. I mean, the phone heats up occasionally, but it's done that since up when I had iOS 17. But that's not a big deal because I could easily shut the phone off for a few minutes and let it sit there and cool off. But that's the only issue I'm facing with the iOS 18. So let's, again, this is my one final hope that I can do it. Let me make a thumbnail. Got it. Anyway, let's pray and just hope for the best at this point. It is currently written on the I'm currently using it on. And the reason why I'm wanting to try it on the old iPhone 7 because when I had older software, I never had any problems with it. Knock on wood. But this is video proof. Like in the previous video, I showed you what I was having. So... I'm low-key suspicious that it could have something to do with the software, but then again, I don't know. I'm not 100%. Like I said, all we can do is hope for the best. And if you see a watermark, that means I'm using InShot, and if not, then I guess this means I'm using the Vita app. So, like I said, all we can do is pray and it is at 52%, so I don't want to get my hopes up, and they're not up because every time I do get my hopes up, it never fails. So we'll see. I will let you know whether if it worked or not. You'll tell the, you'll be able to tell whether if there is a watermark or not. We'll see. Current time. Did not even pick up the camera all day because I had nothing else going on other than trying to figure out the Vita app. So I'm gonna give y'all a little bit of an update and I will let y'all know exactly what I decided and you could probably tell by the way the footage looks that there's no watermark. You can tell by looking at it. So I decided that I'm either gonna use 
iMovie or the Vita app on the iPhone 7. So yes, that's exactly what my plan is. I gave up on trying to shop around because all those other apps that I've looked at, you have to buy and I don't really like that. Now I could use the InShot app if I wanted to, but I'd probably stick to the free version, but the watermark is so annoying and I apologize for that. That is exactly why I haven't posted anything in a while. Now the previous video, I took it down for obvious reasons. I know you guys are sick and tired of me here and you guys are sick and tired of me saying that, but it's the truth. So that's what I decided to do. So from now on, this is how it's going to be. I'm giving up. I'm tired of looking and I'm tired of just, I'm done. So it's either going to be one or the other. That's how it is. No more InShot, no more of those other apps, none of that. I even tried CapCut, but the CapCut Pro, unless you get CapCut Pro, I could, I believe you could only make videos for like five or 10 minutes and that's not enough. But a lot of my videos are less than five minutes anyway, but still there are times where I just want to put up a longer video. So no, it's not worth it. I'm not wasting my time, just no. So from now on, it's gonna be one or the other, no more watermark. Now, the good thing about iMovie is that there's a ton of music that I could use, plus I have the music that I've already saved up on my files. And I don't have to worry about getting copyrighted. Well, some of my music that I use is copyrighted, but my channel is not even monetized and I've already looked into that. And it's not a copyright strike, so I'm not too concerned. As long as it's not a copyright strike, then I'll just leave it. Anyway, that's what's up. So I thought I would let y'all know what's going on. So stay tuned for more. And I will check in with you later. Peace out, everyone.